One week on from defecting from the Liberal Party and it's all smiles. It's fair to say we've had uh, a lot of conversations uh, this week. And the details of some of those discussions are now public. Former backbenchers Lara Alexander and John Tucker have signed an agreement with the Premier guaranteeing supply and confidence. I will be giving my full support and I will pass all appropriation and revenue bills through the government or through the budget process. I will also not be supporting any no confidence motions. In exchange, the proposed Macquarie Point Stadium will now be progressed as a project of state significance, which means it'll have to pass through both Houses of Parliament. The ultimate idea is to have projects of this magnitude, whether we talk about the stadium, whether we talk about Marinus Link or any other project in the future, Parliament has to be the deciding factor. Political analysts say in the Upper House it'll come down to a numbers game. The Legislative Council will have to agree that the process be uh, kick-started and it will be interesting to see how the government goes with having the numbers for that. The new agreement will also see details of the deal signed with the AFL made public, a weekly meeting with the Premier and the newly independent MPs unable to vote in favour of any legislation brought forward by Labor or the Greens. It seems like Lara Alexandra and John Tucker haven't got anything serious out of the government and they blew up the government last week for, for, for what? I'm not confident this deal is going to last very long at all. In fact, I'd be staggered if this government actually managed to stagger its way through the entire term. From the position they were in, the independents have got something, but they've given up a lot to get there. Lara Alexander and John Tucker have both told the ABC they didn't feel heard as Liberal backbenchers. They're confident, though, that'll now change moving forward. But it's not all business as usual just yet for the Premier. He still needs to survive a vote of no confidence when Parliament resumes this week. Jessica Moran, ABC News.